All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Yataz, the Dark Hero of Israel. I'd like to start off by giving honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the others of the apostles, Great Millstone. Today we're going to go into Numbers chapter 6, going into the Hebrew. Lord willing, you're edified, giving honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Bill Stone. Let's get right into it, right? It's Numbers chapter 6 and verse 1, right? Reads, Why at the bar, Yahweh, al Masha la Amar, and he spoke the Lord unto Moses to say, The bar al Baniya Yasha Allah, speak to the children of Israel. Wa Amarath, Alham, Ayash, Awa Asha. Speak unto them, right? Salaki and say unto them, a man or woman, uh, Kaya Yapala La Lanadar, because he distinguished a vow, right? Nadar Nazayar to vow, right? Uh, the vow of the Nazarite, right? Laha Zayar. To separate himself unto the Lord, La Yahweh, Mayayan, Washakar from wine and strong drink, right? He will he will separate himself, Yazayar, right? Hamataza, right? Meaning uh, Hamataza that means sour, and meaning anything sour, vinegar, right? If it comes from the grapevine, he's not to drink it, right? Um, Yayan, meaning wine, Wachamataza, right? Because wine, once it goes sour, it turns into vinegar. Can't drink that, right? Um, Wachamataza, Shakar, and uh, sour and sour, strong drink, La'a, Yashata, right? He will not drink. Wakal, Masharath, right? And all liquor of grapes, Ainabium, La'a Yashata, he will not drink. Wa Ainabium and grapes raw, Lachayim, Salakia. Because that word, uh, uh, Chaya, it means um, to live, but it also means something raw right or fresh right and grapes raw right why you why you bash him right and dried up he will not eat la ya a call that word yabash means uh something dry right call your maya nazar nazarwa all the days of a separation Makal Ashar Ya Aisha from all which uh, uh, from the, all that which is made from the vine Magapan of wine Hayayan uh, Maharatazanayam right meaning and everything and things cut off from it right because the word harataza means something uh, to cut into something or to cut out part of something, right? So it can be raw grapes, can be dry grapes, can't be anything of the vine itself. You can't take the vine, cut it into strips, right? That's what it's saying, basically. Um, wa'ad, uh, zag, and even right anything sheared from it right because the trans the uh, blue letter the translations uh say it's secede or right but that's not what it's talking about right that word uh zag is actually in reverse it would be gaz as in to shear right so you can't take um the the root or the stem you know, and, and, and make, you know, flakes of that vine, 
right, and eat of it, right? So it can't be anything from the uh, from the grapevine, right? La'a ya'akol, right? Kol ya'maya, uh, nadar, all the days which he will vow, or salakia, all the days of the vow, the separation, nazarwa, uh, thayar, meaning a razor, la'a ya'aybar, will not cross, right, will not go upon, right, will not cross, upon his head al al raashwa ad malaath until be fulfilled hay hayama meaning the days uh which shar yazayar he will separate himself to the lord la yahawa wadash yahaya holy he will be right Gadol Parai Shayar, meaning that word Gadol uh, means uh, means great, but it also means uh, something intertwined. But here it's talking about the Nazarite's hair, right? So it's saying uh, in locks, Parai will be loose, uh, the hair, right? So you're gonna the Nazarite has to have his hair grow out. And it has to be placed in locks, right? Shayar Ra'ashwa, meaning the hair of his head, right? Call Yamaya Hazayarwa, all the days of his separation unto the Lord, La Yahawa. Al Napash Mata, upon the soul of the dead, he will not enter, right? Meaning he will not go near a dead body. La'a yaba'a. La'a abayawa. Wala amawa. And Prasalakia to his father. And to his mother. Prasalakia for his father. And for his mother. For his brethren. la Ahiawa. And for his sister, Wa La Achathwa, he will not defile La Yatama uh, himself, Laham, upon them, um, Bamatham, right? Kaya Nazar Alahayawa. Right, because uh, the separation of his power is upon his head. Al Raashwa. Call Yamaya Nazarwa all the days of his separation. Uh Wa La Yahawa, meaning holy he will be to the Lord. Or you can read separate, he will be separated, he will be to the Lord, right? Because the Kwadash means holy or separate, right? Verse, verse 9, Wakaya Yamawa, right? Meaning, uh, Zlaki, just bear with me. Kaya Yamawa, meaning and because uh, he dies, someone that is dead beside him, Elayawa, uh, Bapathai, meaning in the blink of an eye, right? The word Pathai literally means to blink, right? Patha'am, that means suddenly, right? Watama Ra'ash, and be defiled, right? And has defiled the head of his separation. Ra'ash Nazarwa. Wagalach Ra'ashwa. And will shave his head in the day by Yawam. Uh, he will cleanse himself. Taharathwa. In the day by Yawam. Uh, the seventh. Ha Shabaya Ayah. Right? 
he will shave himself. Ya galach nawa, right? So if someone dies beside him suddenly, right? He will shave himself, right? Because he has defiled the head of the separation, right? At that same time, right? And he's going to cleanse himself, right? In the seventh day, and he's going to shave his head again, right? Wabayawam, Hashemayanaya, and in the day the eighth, uh, Yaba'a, he will enter. Or Salaki, he will bring in Shathaya two turtle doves, the Rayam, Awa, or uh, Shanaya, Banaya, uh, um, Yanach, meaning two sons of a turtle dove, right? To the priest, Al Kahan, Al Pathach, to the door of the tent of assemblage, Akal Mawa'id. Wa'aisha ha'kahan, achad, meaning, and he will offer the priest one for a sin offering, la chata'ath, wa'achad, la ayla, and one for a burnt offering, right, and will atone upon him, wa'kapar, la yawa, right, ma'ashar, from which uh, he has uh, sinned upon his soul. Al Khata'a al Hanapash Wakwadash Atha Raashwa, right? And will be sanctified and will sanctify to his head in that same day by Yawam Ha Hawa'a, right? But literally it reads, in the day that is, right? As in, in that self same day. Waha Zayar La Yahawu, right? And he, sh he shall separate himself to the Lord, right? Uh, Atha Yamaya Nazarwa, to the days of his separation. Waha Baya Baya'a, and he will bring in a lamb, Kabash, the son of a year, Ban Shanathwa, for a trespass offering. La Asham. Like it. Wa Wa Yamayam and the days former Ha Raash they will fall. Yapalwa. Right? Meaning they, they will not be accounted the former days of his separation, right? Kaya Tama Nazarwa, because he has defiled uh, his separation. Wazath Tawara, or Salakia, Wazath Tawara, and this is the law of the Nazarite, Ha Nazayar, by Yawam, in the day which he has fulfilled. Malaath, the days of his separation, Yamaya Nazarwa, Yabaya, Yabaya, he will, he will, uh, he will be, he will enter, uh, to the door, Athawa, Al Pathak, of the tent of assemblage, Akal Mawaid. Waha Qurayab and uh he will bring near to his oblation Atha Qurab 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 Nawa, right? To the Lord La Yahawa, a lamb, Kabash, son of a year, Ban Shanathwa, uh perfect the Mayim one Akhad for a burnt offering, La Ila Wakabasha. Right, and the she lamb, one Achath, the daughter of a year, Bath uh, Shanatha, perfect, the Mayama, for a sin offering, Lachataath, right, Wa Ayal Achad, and the ram one, uh, for a uh, uh, perfect, the Mayam, 
for peace offerings, la shalamium, right? Or la shalamium, right? Wasal matazawath, meaning and a basket of reeds of unleavened bread, because that word sal, it means a basket of reeds, right? Matazawath means unleavened bread, right? Salath, right? Which the root word is sal as well. It means a fine flour, right? Meaning high quality flour, right? Of cakes, halath, right? Which is the root word is uh, halal, meaning something to pierce. But this is in the sense of uh, round cakes with a hole in the middle, right? Uh, bal balath. Um, m meaning mingled, the root word is balal, meaning to mingle, mingled in oil, bashaman, right? Wa require quaya, right? And cakes, as in a flat cake, like like a like a uh, wa wafer, like a wafer, right? Or a pancake, right? And cakes of unleavened bread, matazawath meaning a thin, thin cake or a, uh, a pancake. That's why it's called a pancake because it's a thin cake. And thin cakes of unleavened bread, anointed, mashakium, upon oil, ba shaman, wama nachatam, and his offering and his drink offering, wanasak yaham, right? Waha Rayab, and he will bring it near the priest, Hakahan, before the Lord, La Panaya Yahweh, and will offer it, Wa Aisha, to his sin offering, Atha Hataathwa, Wa Atha Ailathwa, and to his burnt offering. Verse 17, Wa Atha Haayal, and to the ram. Yaisha, he will offer it as a sacrifice, Sabach, for peace offerings. Um, Shalomium, right? To the Lord, La Yahweh, beside Al, um, the fine flour, uh, Saul, or sal, uh, Salah. It's actually just Saul. Hamatazawath, fine flour of unleavened. Of unleavened cakes, right? Wa Aisha, right? And he will offer it, the priest, Hakahan, to his offering, Atha uh, Manachathwa, and to his drink offering, Wa Atha Nasakwa, Wa Galach Hanazayar, and will shave. Right, uh, the Nazarite, uh, Fatah Achal, right, in the door of the tent of assemblage, Mawa'id, to, to the head of his separation, Atha Ra'ash Nazarwa, right, Walakwach Atha Shayar, and will take to the hair of the head of his separation. Raash Nazarwa and will place it upon the fire. Wanathan al Haash, which will be Ashar under Tachath, the sacrifice of peace offerings. Zabach Hashalamium, Hashalamium, right? Walakwach Hakahan Atha Hazarai. And will take the priest to the arm of that which was boiled, Habashalah, right? From the ram, Ma Ha'ayel, Man Ha'ayel, Wachalath, and the cakes of unleavened bread, Matazawa, one Achath, uh, from the reed basket, Man Hasal. 
Warakwayak, Matazawa, and the thin cake of unleavened bread, one Achar, Wanathan, and will place it upon his his uh his hand, his palm. Al Kapia. Right, because that word kap means palm, right? Meaning upon the palm of the Nazarite, right? Ha Nazayar, right? Achad, meaning uh, uh, afterwards, he has shaved, right? Ha uh, Tagalatwa, to the hair of his separation. Atha Nazarwa. But it doesn't say hair here, but it already gave you the context on which uh, it was speaking about the Nazarite's hair, right? Verse 20. Waha Nayap a thumb and will wave it unto it and will wave unto it the priest Hakahan right um for a uh, wave offering right Thanapa before the Lord Lapanaya Yahweh Um Kwadash uh which is uh which will be his the offering right or the holy thing that is Hawa uh, to the priest Lakahan um, uh, besides Al Haza, meaning the breast of the wave offering Hathanapa, right? Waal Shawak and beside the leg Shawak. That means leg of the wave offering, right? Or salakia of the heave offering. Ha Tharama Wa and afterwards, Yasha, Yashata, he will drink the Nazarite Ha Nazayar uh wine, Yayan, right? So essentially it's saying and will wave unto it the priest. To the wave offering before the Lord, right, which is the holy offering, that is, right, will be to the priest, La uh beside, uh, meaning Al, right, uh, so the offering itself, right, is is going to be a. Uh, uh, for the priest, right? It's not going to be burnt or anything, right? Now, um, the priest did take one of each of the cakes, as you can see in the previous verse, right? Um, in order, like it says here, it's like, yeah. Right, so it says you shall offer the ram sacrifice, and then bread the priest shall be no offering. Right, so the peace offering, right, which is uh Salakia. Yeah. Right, without blemish for sin offering, one ram without blemish for offering and well being. Right, so the ram would be the peace offering, right? Which, uh, let's see. Actually, to me, right? So the ram, which is the peace offering, right? Would be put into the fire besides the hair of the Nazarite, right? And it says it's going to take one of the 11 cakes, right? One of the flat cakes, right? And it's going to place it on the hand of the Nazarite, right? But the priest is going to take the shoulder of the ram, right? Which has been boiled. One unleavened cake, one unleavened wafer, 
place him on the hand of the Nazarite after the hair has been shaved, right? And that will be for the priest, right? So it is the uh, the, the shoulder, it says shoulder, but it's actually the arm, right? Um, which is part of the, uh, the arm, the shoulder, right? So that is going to be for the priest, right? And uh, in addition, right, to the uh, breast and the leg, which you read about then Leviticus 7, which is going to be continually offered unto the priest, right, for a memorial of their service, right? Um... Was a uh, right, and the difference between right the heave offering, right, and the wave offering is in which the way it is to be offered, right. The uh, uh, the heave offering, which is uh, the ramah, would be lifted up by the priest, as in right to held up. But the wave offering is just going to be waved, you know, kind of like up and down and side to side, you know, kind of like, you know, in a circular motion, right? Number 6 and 21, Za'ath, Tawarath. This is the law of the Nazarite, Hanazayar, Ashar, uh, Yadar, which he will vow. Uh, right for for his oblation right Korab unto the Lord La Yahawu beside or Salakia upon a separation Al Nazarwa Malabad meaning beside a uh, which Ashar Tashayag, he which that he will bring him near, right? Because Nashag means to bring near with his hand, Yad Yadwa, um, upon his palms, Kapya, right? Which he will vow, Nadarwa, or Salakya, uh, which he will bring near with his hands to the palms, which will be his vow, right? Ashar Yadar, which he will vow, Khan Ya Aisha, so he will do, or Salakia, so he will offer, um, or Salakia, so he will do, beside the law of his separation. Al uh, Thawarath Nazarwa. Yeah, so it says basically, you know, that's the obligation of Nazarite, right? Concerning the vows of his separation, right? Um, beside anything else that he might want to bring near as an offering, right? And that which he has vowed, right? So he will do beside the law of his, uh, concerning his separation, right? Why you debar Yahweh al Masha la Amar? He spoke the Lord to Moses to say, "Debar al Aaron, speak unto Aaron, right? Wa al banat banyawa, and to his sons la Amar to say, Ka tabarakwa. Thus you will bless to the sons of Israel, ata banaya yasha Allah." To say unto them, Amar Laham, Yabaraka, Yahawa, Waishamarka, Yaar Yahawa, Paniawa, Aliaka, Waikaanka, Yasha Yahawa, Paniawa, Aliaka, Waisham, Laka, Shalawam, right, which is the uh, uh, priestly vow which the Lord said to give to the uh, children of Israel. Right, 
Now we can still do that today. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? The Lord said, right, that this purpose was to put his name upon the children of Israel. Like it says in the uh, following verse. Now, you know, I, you should take heed to who you're giving that unto because, you know, the scriptures say that the Lord can turn like he did with uh, uh, um, Baal Peor or uh, Balim. He turned the curse into a blessing. So the Lord can turn, if you bless the wrong person, it might turn into a curse, right? Because they're not, you know, because it, maybe they're, they're off, but you don't know it. But at the end of the day, you know, the Lord knows, you know, so you can do it. It doesn't make a difference because it's all in the Lord's hand, you know. They might be wicked. The Lord can still make that happen or, you know, it's all of the Lord, you know, so, but you can still do it, you know, but just be mindful, right? But either way, you know, the Lord is in control, right? So it doesn't really matter, right? Um, so it says, Washamwa Batha Shemaya, right? And you will place to my name upon the sons of Israel, al Banaya Yasha'ala, wa Anaya Abarakam, and I will bless them, right? So, um, so yeah, that's it, pretty much, Numbers chapter 6, right? And, uh, really, this verse is talking about, right? those that are preaching the word and right the way that we're putting the lord's name upon children of israel is really through this word right through the scriptures right through uh revelation of prophecy right uh letting them know that they are israelites right letting them know the lord's counsel and bringing them into the understanding of who they are right Besides this ancient blessing of the priest, right? So again, it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, you know, but I will just be mindful to who you give it. And, uh, but it's all in the Lord's hand at the end of the day, right? So with that, it's Numbers chapter 6. Uh, going into the Hebrew. It's by the Atazadak hero Israel. Lord willing, you were edified. Giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakudash, double honors to the others and apostles of Great Mill Stone, Kwam Yasha Allah, Babu Ba, Shalom.